Okay, there you go. That is the NFL season. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are your Super Bowl champions. They beat the Kansas City Chiefs 31 to nine. So here are my thoughts on the game. Um, how the Chiefs were unable to get into the end zone is beyond my knowledge. And along with all that, let me first say the refs weren't the best. I'm not going to say every call was bad or whatever. There were some calls along the way that were kind of, you know, iffy. And I thought were bad calls, but it's a Super Bowl. I mean, you can't make bad calls in the Super Bowl, but it happens. Um, so, I'm not going to blame all the refs because, in all honesty, the Chiefs did not play. the way they normally played this year. I mean, they played the, the better season really well. Buccaneers had played really well this season. They started out slow, but they got better after the bye week. Um, they really made the fifth seed. Um, the Chiefs were really the first seed. And you think, okay, fifth seed versus first seed, that the first seed is going to just dominate. And I will admit that I thought the Chiefs had it in the bag. I mean, yeah, it could be a close high scoring game. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. Um, the Chiefs just did not, not play good football. I mean, their defense was not good. Their offense was sputtered. Mahomes was not on at all. His passer were overthrown, underthrown. Guy dropped the ball. He had, I think, three, what, two interceptions, I think it was. Um... Penalties, 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 penalties. A lot of penalties. And that's really, I think, one of the main things that hurt the Chiefs was penalties. And they weren't like, we you said, good penalties. They were kind of like stupid, stupid penalties. We got, um, under the roughness penalty. We got, which is a bad penalty to take. We had, one sports like conduct penalty, which is a stupid one to take. And we had like pass interferences and holding and all this stuff on defense and offense. It's like, dude, what are you doing out there? So that really hurt them. And the Buccaneers just took advantage of all their miscues and everything. Uh, I mean, Tampa Bay just played light out most of the game. I mean, the Chiefs didn't have an answer for it. Um, I am pretty irritated that Brady got his seventh ring. Because, if you know, I can't stand Tom Brady. I couldn't stand when he was on the Patriots. I still can't stand him in now. But that's just the point. You know, but I'm happy actually. I'm, I do have a little bit of happiness with this outcome for like one or two reasons. One, Burnett, who played for the Jaguars, got a ring. I'm glad he got a ring. He deserves it. He's a 
He's a damn good running back. That was a good steal for the uh, Buccaneers again. And former Eagle, Sean McCoy, didn't play, but he got his second ring. Good job, boy. We stick it to the team and get your second ring. You didn't play, but you're still a good running back, man. You're still a good running back. And with Brady, he throws wrong point most of the time. And Mahomes, like I said, he was off. Technically, the team that came to play was the Buccaneers. I mean, it just, if you saw the game, you knew. You could see they were ready to play. They were, they were on. It was just, when they turned it on, there was no stopping them. That game was over pretty much by halftime. Or maybe the third quarter. Pretty much. It would take a miracle for the Chiefs to even get close. Um, yeah, it's the first time they had a team in the Super Bowl at their home stadium. And it was Tampa Bay and Tim Buccaneers got to play in the home stadium. That's pretty cool. And they actually won. So, shout out to that. them. Um, it was kind of hard to watch, actually. It was a great game. So, pretty hard to watch, but I watched it. I my phone a couple of times, you know, just look at things and, you know, there's a lot of people saying this and that and everything. Um, I wasn't a fan of all, uh, I wasn't a fan of the halftime show. I wasn't too thrilled with the weekend. He, I didn't think he was that good. I'm not a fan of his music in any way, so I think he could have done better, but whatever. Um, but that's not the point. The point is the better team that came to play and showed up, but won. It's that simple. So I'm already really looking forward to next season, see what the Eagles can do. And see if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers can um defend their title and now how the left is Say Sixers and the Flyers and Phillies at some point in this whole months. Hopefully, depending on what they decide to do with uh, but how they want to play. Um, so yeah. Um, if you guys want NBA and or NHL or both predictions. Put the comment in the bottom, put NBA or just put NHL. If you NLB, when they start playing, put NLB. So, and I will definitely deliver that. And right now, I don't know for sure, but most likely there will be a 2021 slash 2022. NFL predictions next season. Not saying for sure, but there's like at least a 98% chance there will be predictions for next year. You'll find out later, when it gets closer to the time the NFL season starts up, and I'll let you know if there will be predictions. But right now, it's like a 98% chance. So, Congratulations to the Tampa Buccaneers on winning the Super Bowl to Kansas Chiefs. You guys give it a shot. You had a great season. Just coming up short. So, like the video if you like it. Comment if you were a Tampa Buccaneers fan cheering for him or a Kansas City Chiefs fan cheering for him. Leave in the comment who you wanted to win. I wanted the Kansas City Chiefs, but that's just because, you know, I have my reasons, but like I said, I don't want to talk Tom Brady. But anyway, like the video, comment, subscribe. Now I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.